Coach, can you go ahead and share your sentiments on the legacy of uh, Dick Rowe in connection with uh, Duke? Yeah, first of all, he's an unbelievable, he was an unbelievable man. Um, one of the nicest men that I've ever met. Uh, was always so welcoming to me, not really sure why, <laughs> um, but was also, was all, always welcoming and friendly. Um, I knew about him before I first ever met him. And the reason I knew about him is that his jersey was hanging in the rafters at Duke when I played there. And as a player, you know, I, I wanted to know who he was, so I looked him up. Um, it was more difficult to look people up back then in 93. But when I learned about his career, I was blown away at what a great basketball player he was to have his jersey retired at Duke. But that baseball was the thing that he had accomplished more. When I got into coaching and when I went back to Duke um, and started working there, when Pitt entered the league, I think for the first time we played them was during the 2013-14 season and it was here. And I, I really wanted to meet him just because I had read about him. I, had, you know, I knew about him, knew of his accomplishments. Um, and so I, before the game, when I was doing stuff on the court with the guys, I went over and I met him, I introduced myself and that started the friendship. So that was 2014 when that started. I know one other year when we came up here, I don't remember what year it was, but you know, I brought up a bunch of Duke stuff for him. Um, it was really the stuff with the brotherhood. Um, and I wanted him to have some of that because he was a part of it as a former Duke player. And certainly when I was hired here, I got to know him uh, on an even greater and deeper level and had a chance to spend some time with him and talk to him and ask him questions and to listen to him talk about his career. And so it's a very sad day for uh, the University of Pittsburgh, for Duke University, uh, the Pirate, I mean, everyone that he's touched because he's touched so many people. When you asked him questions, like you said, were you asking him about his life, his profession, you know, his basketball? It was career? everything. I wanted to know about his life. I wanted to know about his career. You know, what made him you know, go to baseball, basketball park. I mean, just everything. I was fascinated with him. People that, I'm fascinated with people in general, but especially people that are great at something. I don't, I think great's the most overused word, especially in sports but he was truly one of the greats in to try to figure out what made him great. You know, how did he become great mindset? And, but I, I was just always blown away at, at, at how humble and how friendly he was. Um, when you've accomplished so much, you know, just to still be humble, to be friendly, to be accommodating, to be welcoming, um, was a, you know, showed the grace that he had as a human being. That was going to be my next question. What was it about his humanity that struck you? It was that, just that he was friendly to everyone. He, even though he accomplished something that very few people that walked this earth um, accomplished, he was in the rare, he was in the minority of accomplishment, especially in sports. Uh, at least my dealings with him, he never took himself too serious. He never thought that he was better or because he accomplished that he was better than or more than. He was just another guy um, that was incredibly blessed to have accomplished some really amazing things. With regarding, following up on Sheldon's question, regarding all the character aspects of the man, what do you hope or what would you like to impart on your players that Dick Grove taught you or you believe in and he also believes? Humbleness, being kind, being a good person. Um, I'm grateful that I had a chance to introduce our guys to him. Um, he came to a practice and we got a chance to visit with him and spend some time with him. And I hope our guys were able to see that and to feel that. Um, he was, even though he never wore a jersey here at the University of Pittsburgh, he was incredibly proud of this place and you know, really proud of his association with it. He was incredibly proud of his association with this city and his connection with this city. Um, and for them to, the guys that I have a chance to coach and to be around, 
hopefully that's what they take, the humbleness, the kindness, and the graciousness of being a good person. How did, yeah. you really, uh, uh, how did your relationship increase after when you, you made that introduction and then you came here and uh, you, know, you were making adjustments to the city? How did that relationship just e escalate and grow between you two? Well, it was just, I, I got to be around them more. You know, my first year here, he was still doing the radio, and so I got to see him. I got to interact with him. I got to spend time with him. You know, I went up to his golf tournament, spent some time with him. I don't golf, so I literally just sat with him and just talked to him. Um, and so it was just that, just being able to be around him and spend time with him. Jeff, you played at a high level. You said you were blown away when you looked him up. Can you fathom the type of athlete it would take to do some of the things that he did? No. I mean, it's been very few people that have done it at a high level, and he's one of them. I mean, that I can remember off the top of my head, you know, you had Bo Jackson, you had Deion Sanders. That's it that I can remember that played both at the professional level at a high level, you know, in both major leagues. I mean, he was playing, I think it was the Pistons and then playing major league baseball also. There have been some that did it in the minors and did it in the majors and won, you know, baseball and then playing in the NFL. but. For him to do it at that level, for him to be such a great player that I think he was the first retired jersey to do. Um, like you're, I mean, I do know that basketball program's history. You got to be pretty doggone good to have your jersey retired there. Um, and so to know that he did it, um, you know, at such a high level is pretty cool. Did he ever uh, give you any suggestions, coaching strategies? No. Or <laughs> He did. It was just friendly conversation. It was just friendly conversation. Mm -hmm. That's, I wanted to be, I wanted to have a friendship with him and learn about life. I mean, I don't, I, I didn't, you know, he was never one to talk to me about what I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing. Certainly he wanted the program to win and this was a basketball program that he had great pride in from his association and he had been here during kind of like the heyday when they were really, really good. And unfortunately, he got a chance to see this team and the program to get back to the NCAA tournament this year and to see that. And hopefully that's something that he felt a great sense of pride in.